everybody, it's Christine and welcome to a new video. Today I am going to be working with the newest sketch from Stuck Sketches. Just came out today and I'm also going to be working with the Simple Stories Faith Collection. It's beautiful colors in this collection. Navy blue, which you just can't go wrong with. And then some brighter uh, pinks and yellows and turquoise and greens. And so I decided to do a layout of me and my husband's anniversary which was in June and use a picture that I really love to make a love themed layout. So what I did is I cut out some text paper that comes in the collection and I mounted that onto that heart paper background and I did that it's kind of a monochromatic look with the patterns being different but with that same navy blue and I just wanted to calm down the heart background um, but still keep it as a big part of it. So now the next thing I'm going to do is based on the sketch there are a whole bunch of strips that go underneath your picture and so I am just cutting strips from the collection in a yellow color and in a pink color and in a aqua color and all of those I'm just gonna line them up underneath my picture and right now I'm just messing around with the order to see which I want on top which I want in the middle and how far up do I want them to go how far down the sketch calls for them to be a little more heavy on the bottom of the photo and less up top and so I'm trying to stick as true to the sketch as I can. Um, as you know, I'm not always great at that, but um, I end up staying pretty true to it this time. Um, so there you can see I've got all of those lined out and attached, and now I'm just gonna mount this navy blue behind my picture just to make it pop a little more. And again, the sketch called for something else there behind the picture besides just the strips. And so this is my way of doing that. And all I did is just use the cut apart page there and used one of the quotes that I didn't think I would use and pulled out that navy blue from behind it, um, just tucked it behind the picture there. I also tucked it at an angle um, just to break up all the straight lines that were happening. Now I am going to go ahead and add on some foam adhesive squares and this was kind of dumb. I should have gotten out craft tape because look at that's just a lot of adhesive squares. Now thankfully I'm not hurting for them but I if I had thought it through more carefully I would have gotten out craft foam tape. Um, what are you going to do? The job is done. <laughs> um, and it's it's good that I have lots of them from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L so that I, I'm not going to run out anyway. <laughs> um, and so you can see now I'm putting that there on top and adding those just gives a little more dimension to that picture that, you know, you've got a lot of flat going on already at this point. So I wanted to kind of bring the picture up and make it stand up above everything else. Now I'm using my laser square as I often do to just make sure I get things on there straight. Now this is someplace where it really comes in handy. When I've got so many different angles going on and things slanted, making sure I get the picture on there straight is so important and something that I really used to struggle with and that the laser square has just saved me in that respect. Um, I don't have to go back and fix things when I'm taking a picture and realize, oh shoot, that is crooked, crooked, crooked. Not anymore, so thank goodness for that. Um, now I'm tucking a tag underneath and then I'm gonna kind of play around and see what I wanna do for embellishing. And ultimately, I decided to fussy cut some big flowers from the patterned paper and use those. And I'm gonna adhere those a couple of ways. One, some of them I'm gonna use my Easy Runner Grand to adhere. In other ones, I'm gonna use some foam adhesive squares again because I want them to pop up a little bit. Um, Easy, the Easy Runner Grand is great for the flat stuff, but when you want to change things up, when you want to add a little more punch to things, uh, foam adhesive squares are such a great way to do that, and really a cheap and easy way. You don't have to add an additional embellishment or anything like that. You just 
change the look of your embellishment a little bit. Now, off camera, I cut out all of those flowers and that these, these flowers are especially nice because they have a very simple shape to them for the most part. Those white ones have a lot of petals, but the rest of them are kind of just big, funky ovals and with little curves and stuff. And even some of them I modified to make them look how I wanted them to. And you can see I'm doing some more of that here. I'm cutting out also some leaves. And what I'm going for is really to just frame the picture. I want some up above and I want some down there on the left side. And I'm just using some fine tip scissors to get the job done quickly and easily. Now you're starting to see the whole vision of this layout and I'm going to be honest, I love this layout. I love the end results. It might be one of my favorites that I've done on the Stuck Sketches team. I just, I like the colors. I like the way I framed everything. I like the sketch and I like the picture too. So, <laughs> and even bigger bonus, it was really easy to edit when I actually took a picture picture of the entire layout, which when things are easy to edit, I can't even tell you. It makes it so much easier to <laughs> enjoy the process when you don't have like to spend a lot of time trying to fix it and make it perfect and all those things. So I'm just finishing up here, adding on little details. You know, it, at some point you, you go back and forth. Is this enough? Do I need more? You might cut out extra flour and then you realize, no, I really don't need that and put it back. And so just working through all of those little things that we do at the end. Now I'm adding on a little marquee sticker that comes in the in the collection. It says, um, do all things in love. And then I also added on love for my title there. I just cut that out on my silhouette cameo. And that was just a simple title. I felt like it worked well for an anniversary page. And then now I'm gonna just add on a few stickers from, again, from that cardstock sticker set that comes with it. I'm adding on some hearts. I'm gonna add on some butterflies and just little things to build around those clusters and add some interest. Nothing major, just little details here and there. And that is a wrap for today. So there you have it, a very simple layout, not a lot of fancy techniques or anything, but just lots of layering and fussy cutting and all those fun things that I love to do that combine together to make just a pretty layout. Of course, having beautiful products does not hurt. And if you wanna check out any of those products, you can definitely look at the links that I have in my description down below. I'll have links to all of those as well as to where you can find the sketch. So be sure to check in on the sketch and play along with us. We'd love to see what you create. We always have fun checking out all those different um, things that you guys are making and we have fun commenting and it's just fun to see what other people are doing. So thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you again soon with another video.